England did it. They beat the Germans in extra time and they won it. And I do know my TalkSport colleague, broadcaster and WSL expert, Shaban Ahern, for one, will be thrilled this morning. Shaban, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome back from your holly bags. Uh, yeah, brilliant, brilliant morning. What a, what a way to wake up today. Yeah, I mean, what has the buzz been like? Uh, what kind of calls and texts have you been receiving, Siobhan? It's been absolutely non-stop. What was amazing yesterday was the amount of people who were crawling out the woodwork looking for a last-minute ticket. Don't think so. Um, just unbelievable, <laughs> Jim. Um, it just it felt like a, a win for women, to be fair, um, for young girls and for what's next. Um, and this is the momentum now that clubs need to work at to, to carry forward into the WSL next season. And in a way, it's a good thing. You've got back-to-back World Cups to look, after, to look, after, to look forward to as well because that's just around the corner. Yeah, I mean, you have championed women's football from the start, Shaban, and all credit to you. Can you believe this moment has arrived? Yes, I can believe this moment has arrived. Um, I think it was just a long time coming. Life has changed so much over such a short space of time for the better, and it felt like women's football was on that that change as well for 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 the better. And to to be watched it all my life, to be at Wembley yesterday, Jim, and to see everyone going bonkers, you know, 87,000 people. I've never seen Wembley like that. It was just one big party atmosphere. And even as a proud Scotswoman, you couldn't help but get stuck in about it. It was it was such a good day <laughs> from start to finish. Um, and yeah, just oh, honestly, I'm a bit lost for words. I just can't believe it's happened now. We're well, here. I wonder, Shaban, if the man to my right is lost for words this morning. Because, Sam, and you've had your own take on women's football. I have, yeah. you, you haven't been shy to go on Twitter to tell us what you think. What do you think this morning? I think it's a fantastic achievement. I think mm. they've won a to- any t- any tournament where you can whatever the sport, whatever the patronage, whatever the you know uh, the culture of that sport. If you can go in and win a tournament and achieve something, then it's something you should applaud. You know, you look at it and say, "I watch." What my takeaway from it was, besides some of the euphoria, Did you watch it? I watched. I watched a lot of. I watched some of the games. I watched England play Norway. I watched the Spain game, um, highlights of it. I watched the semi final and I watched. A proportion of the game yesterday and my takeaway from it was was that when you look at it and you see the happiness that it brings you see the families that are involved mm. you see the respect towards the authority of the game the referees you see the achievement what else can you take away from that besides admiration you look at it and say that's a great achievement the women's team have won a tournament that reflects on the togetherness of the players of the management of the structure of women's football for me, you know, I have to admire it. I don't look at it and say um, anything other than I hope that this is an opportunity for women's football to grasp the nettle. I hope that it cannot fall into the trap that men's football has fallen into because everything mm. you saw yesterday was families, uh, young daughters with their fathers and families and, and groups of people going to watch a game. You saw no trouble. You saw no aggravation. You didn't see a culture of toxicity. You didn't mm-hmm. see people that, that, you know, that were conning referees. You didn't see all of the things yep. that the wonderful men's game has now become. And you can't oh. disagree with any of that, Shaban, can you? Do you know, I love this new Simon Fresh from his holiday. Um, yeah. this is, but it's not this a new is Simon the Shaban. The argument is, would I watch women's football? Yes, I will watch women's football at an international level. Do I enjoy women's domestic football? No, I haven't. Do I? Would I make it an appointment in my diary to go watching women's football going forward? Probably not. Do I respect what I've seen? Of course I do. These women have just won a tournament. And whatever I may or may not think about women's football, and whatever I may not think or may think about how this will be utilised, and I don't want the men's game pitched against the women's game, women have an opportunity now. They created a winning team that was nothing to do with anybody else besides women's sport. This is not about women and men. This is about football and the opportunity for women to now go and grasp the nettle. Three years ago, the World Cup produced a spike in attendances in domestic football to go from 1,600 to 3,000. I suspect it will do the same now. Women's football needs to grasp the opportunity. The FA need to help it. And the commercial side of it needs to be revved up. There's an opportunity here. I fear that it may go the same way as it did in 2019. But what you've got is a moment in time where women's football, not what the men haven't done, women's football has won a tournament and they should be celebrated and respected and revered and all the good things that we took out of that game yesterday, which was a family atmosphere, an absolute feeling of pride in what we've achieved should be the takeaway for me. Have you got a similar takeaway, Danny? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it, actually. I um, 
the, the, I, the one thing I, I didn't become too obsessed with uh, whether they won it or not. I thought I thought the journey to get into the final was inspirational enough. I'm not upset. I don't like this obsession with having to win something to galvanise people to want to. I know it helps in the in the publicity, but actually, just seeing women play at that level for young girls is inspiring enough. You've got the final at Wembley. You've got 80, 80 plus thousand people there. So, I mean, no, we've got daughters. We're very aware of, of course. you know. So, I, I I think that it's it's been brilliant for the game, and I think that you're gonna. The, the best thing about it is very simple. You're gonna get more young girls playing football because of what we've seen and because of the BBC sticking it on the telly. So yeah. everyone can see it. And Shaban, it's stat after stat, a record eighty seven thousand one hundred and ninety two at Wembley. The highest attendance for any UEFA Euros match ever, men or women. What does that yeah. tell us? What does that tell it, us? It just tells us that we've all caught and on that this wave came and we all jumped on it. And you know, but Simon, I appreciate what you say there, you know, and it's, it's all well and good now the tournament has been won. Um, I guess what some of us have been looking for for quite some time is that support and, and recognising where it was yesterday. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.